Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to take a look at the Glyph Video Goggles. To keep up with the latest on drones, be sure to click subscribe. So the box itself isn't much to look at, likely because this is the Founder Edition. On top, we have some accessories. We're going to set those aside so we can take a look at the goggles first. You might be forgiven for not even realizing these are goggles. They look more like a pair of high-end headphones. The build quality appears to be excellent, like you'd expect from a refined consumer product. We've got leather ear cups and metal accents, and they're adjustable. So much so that I can wear them as regular headphones, even with my enormous noggin. Remove this protective cover and you'll see what sets the glyph apart. A pair of binocular 720p video displays, which makes it suitable for FPV flying, even in HD. We have a number of controls right here to make adjustments for your viewing experience. The first step is to use this button to release the optics into viewing position. These sliders control the interpupillary distance, and this knob adjusts the height of the nose pad. You can use these rings around the outer edges of the lenses to adjust the focus of the image. Around the edge of the left ear cup, we have a micro USB port for charging the internal battery, a micro HDMI input for video, an audio input, an LED indicator light, and the power switch. Advancing the power switch halfway turns on the goggles. Pushing it all the way forward reveals the status of the internal battery. Green means fully charged. Yellow means somewhere between 20% and 80% charged. And when it turns red, you're almost out of power. On the outer surface of the ear cups, you'll notice these little index marks, which is where the controls are located. On the right ear cup, you can turn the volume up or down, affect the brightness, and display a test pattern. A button in the middle mutes the audio. On the left side, this activates 3D mode, and this activates head tracking. For both of these controls, you need to press and hold for two seconds in order to enable them. Now, let's take a look at the accessories we set aside earlier. First, we've got cables. We've also got a plush carrying bag with an internal pouch for accessories, a quick start guide, and a lens cloth. We also have a collection of four different nose pads, so you can find one that's a perfect fit for you. Before we try out the Glyph, Let's get the battery charging by connecting it to a USB power source. We also need to install a comfortable nose pad. Remove the blank that comes installed on the goggles by pulling it straight down. Try out different options until you find one that feels right for you. And remember that you can adjust the height with this knob. Now, let's take them out and see how they perform in the field. So now for the field test of the Glyph goggles. Now, a couple of cool things to point out is that these are compatible with my glasses and my hat. Once I'm wearing it, everything fits just fine. I also like the fact that you can see over or under these when you have them on, akin to the original head plate. Now, that's a bonus because you can see the aircraft are taking off and landing. And a couple additional things with the open design are you can walk around without taking them off and they don't fog up. And of course, one downside we've noticed is the nice plush earmuffs block out a lot of noise. Oh, hey, there's a tree off to your left. No, there's a tree to your left. Crap. There's a tree to your left. You can't hear your spotter as easily. But they're so comfortable, though. So for our flight test, we're going to hook these to a DJI Inspire 1. It's a little bit of latency from the Inspire in its video, so no hot dogging. And of course, use a spotter. Hey. Tree off to your right. Now, on goggles you tried in the past, we've had some problems with overscan. These don't have it at all. It's full screen. I'm not missing any telemetry, none of the sensors, data. It's all right there. And it's clean to the corners. It's completely crystal clear across the entire screen. Everything's legible. It's a lot nicer than looking at my tablet here. I can see so much detail. The refresh rate is. Perfect. I don't see any issues at all with the shuttering, no blurring of pictures. 
The only thing I can see is if you're a person who can see the rainbow on a DLP projector or like the flickering of LED taillights, you'll see a bit of that here. I suspect they're using a single screen with changing color LEDs to produce color. Also, I can look up at the aircraft whenever I want to. Just click. There I go. I can see the aircraft. Back to the screen there. So that was our look at the Glyph Goggles. Hope you're watching. See you next time. All right. Fly safe. Really? You gonna try those on again? You like them?